Hey guys, Chris Superfast RC, and today we're taking a look at the MyLapse RC4 Pro Transponder. So we've looked at the hybrid before on the channel, and the hybrid is basically, you know, the one size fits all transponder from MyLapse. You know, you can use it on the old timing systems, you use it on the new timing systems, doesn't really matter. You're golden with the two wire. Uh, but this is the newer one. This is only going to work with the RC4 systems. Uh, as with the regular three wire as well. So this one just differs a little bit from the two wire and the three wire as far as size. So let's go ahead and get into the packaging here. Pretty simple packaging. Um, the Pro model also has a very short cable as in comparison to the other models. We get some MyLap stickers some double-sided 3M tape and then we have the quick start guide so basically it's just going to show you how to insert your transponder into your car in various different languages I have a feeling yes that's what's going on so weight is only three grams on this one and then it gives you the rest of the uh, specifications there so it does have a flashing LED and it supports 3.3 through 12 volts as far as your voltage on the transponder. I don't see why you'd be anywhere near 12 volts, but um, anything else we need to know about this little guy? No, it looks good. Uh, yeah. So if you don't know it's three wire, there's a little bit of telemetry that goes across the loop back to the uh, timing system from the car. I think ambient temperature from the transponder is reported and just some voltages, stuff like that, receiver voltages. Not really that useful, and if you ask me, so like I said, just the being the smaller transponder, and it's just a little bit nicer. Fits easier in a 10 scale car or a 12 scale car. Anything that's really small and you don't have much space. So here we have an EB410. If I can get a better shot there of the receiver spot. So you're going to go ahead and insert into your power port on your receiver. These kind of slide around. It's kind of interesting. So basically with this little transponder, what we're going to have to do is find a little spot where we can mount this and be okay. Hmm. It's kind of got an angle to it. I don't like that location. I think the best spot is actually going to be like right here on the actual side guard. I don't really like that, but I don't think we have a choice, really. Yeah, we're gonna have to do it. I don't know, because there's a steering linkage is right there. Man, these little tent scales, there's just not much room in them. Not room for activities. get it like right there somehow a little transponder mount that would be perfect yeah okay guys so after a little bit of messing around here I was able to get it nice in the techno um, you can see the lights flashing right there in time to time if I can get it to yeah so it is it's operational nice and secure uh, it's not gonna go anywhere no and I've got tape underneath it, so we should be in great shape there. Um, so yeah, the MyLapse RC4 Pro, it's just smaller. Let me shut that fan up so we can hear. Uh, it's just a smaller little transponder, and it's just meant to tape on receivers or to your chassis. Uh, just get it out of the way and uh, count your laps, guys. All right, guys, this has been my review of the RC4 Pro from MyLapse. They're expensive. It is what it is, right? You've got to pay to play as far as RC racing, and that's all I can say about that. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.